Hey, this is Keith. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your class rosters and manage the roster and also cope with some of the goofy things that students are going to do along the way. So let me click into my empty assignment that has no essays uploaded. And if you click on the section, you'll see the class roster for that section. And it's completely empty. I don't have any students in here yet. Now, you can manually enter your whole class roster for all of your sections, for all of your courses, but that's a lot of work and it's a pain and there's a much easier way to do it. Um, instead of entering it manually, just have the students submit an assignment. So if we go to the assignment link, it asks them for their first and last name. And when the system finds a first last name combination that's new, it will add them to your roster for you. So let's say we've got Mike Lieberman. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, he's in my fourth period class, let's say. Except Mike, he's a big goofball. He doesn't type in Mike Lieberman. He types in Mike Lieb Dog and hits submit. Now, the poor system doesn't know that he's joking, so it's going to create an actual student record in your class for a Mike Lieb Dog. And he selects a document, um, uploads it to the site, and the site processes it. Now, when this is done processing, I'll show you what you're going to see on your end when it detects this new entry into your roster. So let me go back to the instructor page. So the very first thing you'll see on the instructor page is, hey, you've got a roster change. You have a new student. And your student is named Mike Liebdog. This field is editable for exactly this case. So when you have a new student, regardless regardless of whatever they entered, you can always change it to you know something a little bit more appropriate. Michael Lieberman. And you confirm, yes, this is a new student in my class. Add him to my roster. I now have a roster of one student. And you know, so do that for your, for all the students who submit an essay, and you know, let's say two or three of them just never turned it in, so they're missing from the roster. So okay, fine. Now you can add you know those delinquent kids who didn't turn in an essay manually, but at least it's only hopefully just a handful of them. Okay, so now they're in the roster. When they go to upload their next assignment what the site is going to do is it's going to look to make an exact match with their last name. So Michael Lieberman in fourth period will be an exact match to one of the records on your roster. And the system finds him and it's ready to go. But if he types in Mike Lieberman, it's not going to find a match. So there was no perfect match, but it does a last name search and it says, hey, I did find this record in fourth period for a Michael Lieberman, is that you? And he should obviously select that and hit submit. Um, but if for some reason his brain is not turned on, uh, which could very well be the case, he selects the wrong option. I'm not on this list. And remember, it's trying to match Michael Lieberman. So he submits it. And now that's caused the site to create a separate entry for Mike Lieberman even though we already had a record for Michael Lieberman. So now we have two uh, of this guy in our class roster. And, uh, you know, believe me, Mike's a friend of mine, but one of him is enough for, uh, for one class. So now our class roster is a mess. We've got Michael Lieberman and Mike Lieberman. Mike just uploaded his essay, so we don't want to just wipe him out. We need to transfer the Mike Lieberman records into the pre-existing Michael Lieberman. Oh, sorry, let me get to the instructor page again. Okay, and again, it says there's a roster change, and it shows you Mike Lieberman, but you can see right here, I've already got Michael in there. So rather than confirming him, you say, this is a duplicate entry, and submit. And now it's going to ask you, who should we merge this Mike Lieberman character into? Well, he should be merged into the Michael Lieberman. So Mike will be merged into Michael. And all of his essays and everything else will transfer together properly. So now our roster has been cleaned up. And if we look at that second assignment, 
we see Michael Lieberman has uploaded his document. So it's all been cleaned up. The roster is back to the way it should be. Um, that's pretty much all you really need to know. The roster builds itself when the students upload their documents. You still have full control to edit and change the roster. If you go back to look uh, at the roster, you can edit students, um, you know, change their name. You can move them to a different section if you have to. Um, and if you need to, you can also delete students. Uh, let me go back there. You can also delete students if you want to. And like everything else on the site, there's always a warning check that you have to explicitly uh, check in order to complete the delete, just so that you can't you know, accidentally do something on with an errant click. Anyway, that is creating a roster, uh, maintaining a roster, and then dealing with uh, silly students. Let me know if you have any questions.